Hello you guys, it has been a hot minute, but I decided to go ahead and pick up the vlog camera. I have some errands to run today. It's actually already almost two o'clock. I had a dermatologist appointment this morning and then we went to the gym. I had to do some work, things like that, and then obviously get ready. But today we're gonna run some fall errands. I'm so excited. I have been in such a fall mood. I don't know what it is. I think mainly being that Starbucks pumpkin drinks came back today, so I'm so excited to get one of those. I don't know if I wanna get the pumpkin spice latte though, or the pumpkin cream cold brew it is gonna be like 87 degrees today despite the way I'm dressed I'm literally in like a sweatshirt jeans and my Birkenstocks but I'm trying to manifest the cooler weather but because it is so hot maybe I'll end up going with an ice I don't know I'm just gonna feel it out and see what I'm feeling when we get there and then I do want to run to the bookstore and I also really want to go to home goods and just see like what fall decor they have out maybe get a pumpkin candle so I figured I'd go ahead and vlog the next couple of days and bring you guys along but let's go get this pumpkin spice latte I'm so excited could I just do a grande pumpkin cream cold brew please thanks <laughs> there's a I know it's almost a bee in my car so I was freaking out so I decided to get a pumpkin cream cold brew let's go ahead and give it a taste test it already smells so good I can smell like the cinnamon and the pumpkin Oh my gosh. It somehow always amazes me year after year, like my first taste of a pumpkin spice latte, just how good it is. It just tastes like fall in a cup and it's just so perfect. And I'm really glad I decided to get the cold brew because it is so freaking hot. And this is just like hitting the spot right now. It's so good. I'm gonna continue sipping on this while we head to the bookstore. I just finished It Starts With Us by Colleen Hoover last night. So now I need a new book to read. My honest opinion, I would say like out of five, I give it like a th 3.2 like I really enjoyed the book I think the first one was amazing I was really into it and then I actually tried to read um, it starts with us like a few months ago and I just could not get into it I don't know if it was just because I just finished the first one and I was kind of like over the story um, but I feel like it was a good book it was nice because it was obviously like a sweet story about her and Atlas like I don't want to ruin the book if you guys haven't um, read it but I also feel like there wasn't any like thriller in it and I really love a good like suspense book so I think that's what I'm gonna look for and also just like walk around I love walking around a bookstore it's like my favorite thing to do So these are the two books I decided to pick up. This was the one I was coming for. My friend Emily had mentioned in her TikTok that she was reading this book and it was really good. She said her friend recommended it if you enjoyed the book Verity by Colleen Hoover, which honestly is probably my favorite book I've ever read. I'm not like a huge reader, but I read that book in two days. So that was huge for me. And so I think it's my favorite book. So I was excited to read something hopefully a little similar. I love a good suspense book, but I also like to have different books and like genres to switch between. So I like to read like fiction, nonfiction, and then I also have like some businessy books. I'm also in the middle of reading a book by the head of functional medicine at the Cleveland Clinic. Um, I think it's like How to Stay Young Forever or maybe it's just Young Forever, but it's really good. Also recommend that one. And then I also picked up the four hour work week by timothy ferris which i've heard the skinny confidential mention in their podcast and i've just heard really great things about this book overall so i'm excited to give this one a go and i just love having new books it's like the best feeling so now we're gonna head to home goods and see what we can find there I actually bought the same thing last year i thought it was so cute for thanksgiving it's a little like butter dish I thought it would look so cute on the dining table. I'm thinking about getting this little spoon rest. I don't love the Snoopy on it, but I just love the cute plain white pumpkin spoon rest and I can't find anything else that's like this. I feel like they're all kind of Halloween-y. Comment down below if you're more of a Halloween or a fall decor person. I feel like I'm more fall, but I do appreciate a cute little skeleton if that makes any sense. Guys, how stinking cute are these little dog costumes? I cannot. Look at this little red riding hood. <gasps> Lucy would look so cute with this and it makes it look like they're actually holding the basket. Oh my gosh, love. Oh my God, this candle is now my new favorite. It's apple cider by the brand Sand and Fog. It's 
smells so good. It kind of reminds me of leaves from Bath and Body Works. And how cute is this like glass container? It's kind of like boho. Love it. And would it even be a trip to Home Goods if we didn't get something for Lucy? <laughs> About to sit down and do some computer work I have to do before tonight's bag drops. We do bag drops every Thursday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, but we did get a new handbag shipment in today, so I wanted to go ahead and show you guys what we got in because it's always so exciting. The first thing is this Louis Vuitton briefcase, which is so cool. It's the full monogram canvas with the leather handle. And I think it opens up into like three different compartments. It has a key, so I'm not gonna open it up. And then we also got this little Louis Vuitton beach. I think this is the Cabas tote, which funny enough, we actually sold this exact same bag last month. So I'm happy to have another one in because I do move quickly. But this probably won't be in a drop. I'll probably just post this to the website as soon as it gets listed because it's obviously a summer style. And now we're starting to focus on fall drops. Also, like none of these bags will probably be included in a drop for at least like another two, three weeks um, because our other drops are already planned out. But anyways, then we have this Gucci Ophidia bag obsessed with the brown suede and then the patent black leather such a good crossbody and it's like the perfect size these bags always fly off the shelf so i was happy to have another one of these in and then it has like this gg zipper pull which is so cute and then we also got a prada raffia bag in which raffia i feel like typically does better in the summer just being straw but i feel like these colors i'm gonna go ahead and include it in a fall drop being the brown and black just such a cute style and i love getting these totes in i feel like they always do really well and our customers love them and then lastly we got this gucci bag which i'm so excited about it's like new it still has like a couple marks just from being beaten around in the box i believe um because it is new with tags and it comes with everything and the marks are very very minor um but it has a nice shoulder slash crossbody strap and then the classic gucci bamboo handles i love the color of this bag it's so good for fall i feel like it'll match everything it's just that pretty like ivory cream and like i said seriously brand new comes with like the dust bag ribbon everything like that it's even still stuffed with like the original stuffing and then at the interior is this really pretty floral pattern you have like these snap closures here a zipper pocket such a good practical bag and i'm obsessed with this size but like i said i have some computer work to get done before tonight's drop so i'm gonna go ahead and do that because spencer and i are both starving so I just finished up my work and I just finished posting my little Instagram reel I made for the business account, but Lucy doesn't even know that I got her something today. <gasps> Do you know I got you a little toy? I did. <gasps> Ready? <gasps> it's a spooky toy. Do you like it? Sit. <gasps> Take it. <laughs> Look, the little ghosts have squeakers and it's like a rope toy. So we can play tug of war. Look, <gasps> you had me at a low. Cause where you go is where I go. I don't need nobody else. I got you. Basically, Lucy had to get groomed, so I dropped her off, and then I went to a brunch with my mom, my sister, and my niece. Had the best time. We went to Bob Evans. I had like eggs and hash browns, and it was just so good. Um, but now we're on our way to a coffee shop to get a little bit of work done, and that way we can like relax and enjoy the weekend because it is Friday. And then I'm so excited because tonight we're gonna go to my nephew's football game. He plays high school football, so I'm so excited to watch him. He had a game last week, but we had just gotten home from Florida, so we weren't able to make it. So I'm excited to go watch this week because he's so good and I'm excited to see him play but first we need to get some computer work done so let's go
just finished getting ready for the game. I went ahead and curled my hair since I did have a little extra time. And it is supposed to get a little chillier tonight, which I'm so excited. It has felt like fall all day because it's been so gloomy. The sun never really came out. I know I said yesterday was like 87. Today I think it got to be like 80, but it never really felt like it because the sun wasn't out. So it felt chillier than it actually was. But with that being said, it is gonna get a little chillier tonight. So I decided to go ahead and wear a hoodie. This one is from Pangaea. I love their hoodies. I have this one in white and I also have a tan one. And then I'm also wearing my Lululemon leggings. And I think I'll probably also throw on my Uggs for the first time, which I'm so happy about. And then we also talked about picking up a pumpkin cream cold brew on the way to the game. I feel like that mixed with football is just, it's just fall in one night. Can I get a pumpkin cream cold brew? Thank you. Have a good one. Me too. Spencer's first sip of a pumpkin cream cold brew. Not ever, but... Yeah, first one this season. What do we think? Amazing. It's so good. So 